all right well hello there everybody and welcome back how are you all doing today once again persona four with megan she is here yes i promise i i'm uh, here she usually is even if sometimes she doesn't speak no I, i'm time, not very does. talkative okay <laughs> you are talkative enough don't worry yeah so we're gonna start off with another one of these classrooms maybe you do too we'll see i do want to uh, try to keep these up at least a little bit yeah. Mr. Edogawa's TV classroom. Cause honestly it was pretty fun last time. It didn't really teach me much about the gameplay, but it's given me like oh. more background info, I guess. What? I think this music is also from Persona 3. Is it? Is it? I thought I heard it in no, 4 before. Maybe not, maybe not, never mind. Yeah, I was like, wait. <laughs> I was gonna say, cause isn't this just when you're in the classroom? Yeah, maybe I just haven't heard it in a while. My bad. Oh, okay. I guess we haven't been to class in a bit. You know, I came to a realization just now that I haven't actually... I forgot to check your audio levels from last time to see if they're still good. It looks like it's fine. <laughs> but I forgot to actually watch the video back. Oh, uh, no. That's okay. I'll do that next time. It, I'll say it looks fine to me. It looks it looks about... It looks fine to me. I'm not worried. I was just looking at it and I'm like, you know what? I completely forgot to check last time. Ooh. All right. Hello there, everyone. It's time for Mr. Edogawa's TV classroom. Everyone loves Jungian. You sure it's Jungian? Yeah, pretty sure. Psychology, an invitation to the you that you don't know. Today's installment number two, the unconscious. It's just there. Do you remember the last lecture? You're not already just glossing over it, are you? <laughs> now let's begin the class. Cyrus Etar Bezanar. You've heard me say, young this and young that. But thinking back on it, I never explained who young is, did I? So this time, I'll give you some biographical details throughout the lesson. Carl Jung was born... Okay, yeah, I guess it would be young then if he's Swiss. Carl Jung was born in Switzerland in 1875. By the turn of the century, he had begun his career as a psychiatrist. He became a doctor who counseled people with mental illnesses. At the time, psychiatry was still in the very early stages of development, but there was one effective method of treatment known at the time. That method was hypnosis. Through the use of hypnosis, Jung and his fellow doctors were able to treat their patients' mental illnesses. While under hypnosis, the patient displayed sides of themselves that had never been seen, as well as alternate personalities. So where did these hidden sides and other personalities come from? That became the question du jour. Where are they hiding, essentially? If man could be aware of all the aspects of his mind, there should be nowhere to hide. But as it happened, there was. The conclusion that the psychiatrist came to was that there existed an area of the mind that people are not aware of. That is, of course, the unconscious. The opposite of the conscious. And that is how doctors like Young first discovered the existence of the unconscious in those days. I'm sure many of you know, but the one who contributed most to the discovery of the unconscious was Sigmund Freud. That makes a lot of sense, yes? Freud could be considered Jung's mentor, but unfortunately we don't have much time in these lessons to discuss their relationship. The unconscious was discovered by a group of extraordinary men. For now, just remember that fact. Now let me ask you, when you feel of the unconscious, how do you, f or when you think of the unconscious, how do you feel? Mad respect. <laughs> How do you feel? It's kind of um, scary, to be honest. A little bit. Uh, I mean, bad respect is funny, but I will go with it's scary. Perhaps fear is the natural reaction. That which is beyond your own comprehension is always scary. It's like that in general. But perhaps your feelings about the unconscious will change after these lectures. If you tell me it's there... I feel vaguely like it is, but in daily life it's hard to believe, because you can't sense it. However, Jung and the others claimed that you can detect the unconscious in your daily life, even without hypnosis. One way is through slips. Clinically known as parapraxies, things like a slip of the tongue or forgetting to do things fall into this category. You've been in situations where you accidentally called someone such as your teacher, Mommy, right? What you meant to say was Miss Psycho. Psycho? Psycho? I think it's Psycho. Saying, oh, Miss Psycho sounds like an insult. To me. 
but something else slipped out. The unconscious is closer than you thought. Another way to detect the unconscious is in dreams. That's easy to, yeah, that's easy to see, you know? Typically one dreams of things that are not possible in the real world. You may have surprised yourself before with dreams of things you've never experienced, haven't you? They really were beyond your imagination, weren't they? Something your conscious mind could never have come up with. Yes, dreams are quite close to the unconscious. Dreams are an important subject of study in Jungian psychology. We'll go over that in another lecture. As a psychiatrist, Jung considered the unconscious to be a big problem. Why? Because he considered it to be the cause of mental illness. This is how he saw things. In a healthy mind, the, unco or the conscious was in control, reigning in the unconscious. But for his mentally ill patients, the unconscious broke free of its reins and ran amok. Hearing it that way, you may think that the unconscious is a bad thing. But that's not quite how Jung saw it. An uncontrolled unconscious taking over is a bad thing, yes. But the unconscious itself is not innately bad. What led him to say this, you might ask? His observations as a psychiatrist led him to realize that the cause of mental illness was actually on the conscious side. When you suppress your emotions too tightly, or work too hard, or stress yourself to your limit, the unconscious makes its move. Essentially, when the conscious mind becomes overtaxed and unbalanced, the unconscious mind comes out as if to stop it. The unconscious compensates for the conscious when the latter overextends itself. Seen this way, the unconscious def definitely seems like something you'd want to have. Its role is to balance the mind. Now then, so far we have learned to view the mind as divided into conscious and unconscious halves. Next, let's talk about you. Okay, okay. The you of your conscious mind is referred to in Jungian psychology as the ego. This too is now a common term, which makes things, uh, which makes things complicated. But for purposes of this lecture, when I say ego, it will carry the Jungian meaning. The ego is the most uh, is the center of the consciousness and in most respects is the mind, but it is only you in the conscious sense. The domain of the ego does not extend into the unconscious. This will be a key point later on in our studies of Jungian psychology. So, let me ask you again. When you think of the unconscious, how do you feel? How do you feel? It's still the same thing as well, still the same theory. That's interesting. Yeah. So now that we know more about it, how do you feel? Mad respect. You know what? I was actually thinking mad respect as well. I feel like that's the natural the natural curve. You hear about it first, it's like, oh, it's scary. But then you hear about it more, and it's like, oh, yeah, mad respect. There's the answer I was looking for. Good. It seems you understand. Yeah, Megan, good. <laughs> you can't understand the mind's true form without knowing and respecting the unconscious. Essentially... We are residents of the conscious, as our thinking is biased towards it. We take the conceited view that we are the masters of our own minds, when in truth the mind is nothing but a tiny conscious working on the support of the unconscious massive energies. If you forget that, I'm sure you see now. Well then, our time is up. Next time, I'll cover the amazing disposition of the mind as advocated by Jung. So ends today's lesson. Yeah, this is really weird, right? Yeah. Because, like, it's not weird in a bad way, but it's like... Why is this here? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it kind of feels like it's not really related. Like, it's related to the game, but it's not really... Because I thought this would be more like a tutorial thing. You know, like, what are shadows and personas? And then, boom, it'll teach us about, you know, shadows and personas. I thought this was like a tutorial. But it's literally just teaching me stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, like that's that's kind of like I like it. Don't get me wrong, but it's really just kind of weird to just like, like it feels weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I think the logic behind it, because this was added in Golden, right, is that they put these lectures in to kind of explain a lot of themes about the games and like where personas and shadows and all that kind of stuff come from. Nah. Uh -huh. So they figure for people who are interested in that topic from the game might want to delve deeper into it. Okay. And then they also decided to add, like, a quiz show. For fun. Yeah. For fun. <laughs> They're like, okay, well, we'll have education and then a quiz show. Yeah. And then I you like got this. cutscenes and music you can listen to. The, the standard. Yeah, the standard. It's neat. I do like this. 
You think we should do like any more of these or should we save them? Well, for like next time or for later, like the end or something. What do you think? Because um, we could do one at the start and then one at the end or we could do another one. I think we could save it because there's a total of 10 lectures, right? So we're going to have a decent amount of time to play in the game to go through them anyway. That is true. Okay, so we've done two. So yeah, I guess we'll do at least one at the start and end. Or at least yeah. one at the start. Yeah, okay. And welcome back, everybody, once again. Here we are. Oh, and how are you guys doing today? I forgot how to... So I've done this a couple times now. So you might... So you have to, you have to forgive me if I forget how the proper intro goes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Megan and I are here playing more Persona 4. I was going to say Persona 3. I don't know why. But Persona 4. This is Persona 4 Golden, not Persona 3. Brain. Stop trying to fool me. Yes. Uh, so fun fact, and this might happen here too. A uh, fun fact, this is the... Well, we've tried doing this a couple times now. I think uh, this is number four. I mean, I don't know if I want to count the last one, just because that one was pretty much like immediate. Okay, fine. Right. <laughs> we can say four, though. We can say four. Uh, but basically, I recorded... We recorded like an hour of this vote twice. But both of them had like an issue fairly early in where it just didn't want to cooperate. I don't know why. Uh, I still don't know why, if I'm being real. It, it, the recording keeps going. It, it's only happened with Persona as well. Persona 4 so far. I haven't had this issue with anything else. Where it keeps recording, but for some reason the video itself just stops. Even mm. though it should still keep going. Right? I don't know what's causing it. It's only ever happened with this game, as far as I can tell. And it seems to come and go, like, seemingly at random. So I'm not really too sure why. But, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. So it's been about a week since we've done all of that. Um, so I'm probably going to remember some stuff, as will Megan, I'm sure. Yeah. But there probably will be things that maybe I do differently. Uh, things that I forget about. So if the next hour seems like, you know, oh, you know, he, he knows what he's doing was because I, excuse me, I just ate food. Ate food not too long ago, I apologize. Uh, it's because I kind of do, right? I kind of do at least have a vague idea for what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, and some of my timeline might be a bit messed up because I remember getting, yeah, max knowledge. So I do have max knowledge here in this timeline. It's been a week. Yes. Like I said, it's, it's been about a week, and certain things confuse me, since some <laughs> of them didn't happen in this timeline anymore. Yeah, it does get confusing after a while. It does. I've decided if there's any... Oh, yeah, the phone call. If, there, if any other issues happen, then I'll probably just give it a rest for a bit. Not like you guys will know. Because if it happens, then you won't be seeing this anyway. So I don't even know why I'm, I don't even know why I'm t talking about it. But yeah, it's just been really weird, and you know i don't know something will be figured out probably i don't know i don't get it it's strange so anyway you received a text message it's from yukiko do you like scary movies there's this new horror movie out called one missed text i don't think anyone wants to go with me but i don't want to see it alone do you want to see it call me please the movie yukiko wanted to watch is now being shown at the theater if you go to the movie theater, perhaps you should invite Yukiko. Or as Megan so eloquently put it uh, in the fail recording that happened a few minutes ago, which only lasted for like a few minutes because it also died, but for a different reason. You know, she's like, oh, you know, we shouldn't take Yukiko. Fuck Yukiko. Yeah, take someone else. <laughs> take someone else. We don't want to go with her either. I'm kidding. I do. I want to be nice to nice to my party members. So yeah, we'll take Yukiko to the theater, and then we'll go get Jack. Well, we'll go get Jack Pyro Jack first, yeah. And then we'll take Yukiko to the theater. Which uh, in the first failed recording, I got on my third try, I think, of reset. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see how lucky I get this time. Maybe I'll get it first try. Yeah, second time took a bit longer, but wasn't bad. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. So my expression has increased, which I do need to get up for some reason, right? Nanako? 
Yeah, for, yeah, for Nanako. Oh, did Nanako. we get enough for Nanako? No, I need to max it for Nanako, I think. Oh, okay. You overhear students talking. I feel so tired coming to school. So sleepy. That was me the other day, actually. <laughs> I can't believe that I was early for class every single morning until just about a month ago. You're so lucky compared to me. I've been studying for my entrance exams all summer. By the way, I'm so relieved that they caught the guy behind those murders. Yeah, sure. I was surprised that it turned out to be a student. Yeah, sure. Because the game would have been over if that were the case. I don't believe that we've done it. I've seen so many shows interviewing the police by now. I'm so sick of it. I don't know. The game could be over soon. Nah, no way. Classes have ended for today. Have the incidents finally been resolved? No. You can only hope the same tragedies won't be repeated. Yeah, likely. Uh, did, did you hear? The murderer is someone our age, or so I heard. The guy was really weird, like whacked out of his mind all the time. They even said so on TV. Ugh, you have to be some kind of sicko to do something that terrible. You gave her the charmed veil. It's amazing. I feel different just having this veil near me. Oh, but if you put it on, suddenly I'll stand out and every... Oh, if I put it on, suddenly I'll stand out and everybody will look at me like I'm crazy. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about myself again. Please take this. Yeah, five keys. I forgot I got five keys from this. Yeah, there's also the guy in the practice building you should be able to talk to as well. Yeah. Really? Thank you so much. Next, yeah, what do I give him? I give him a silver lump, I believe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I also got Funky Student, which I've now had <laughs> a, 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 an oddly amount of times to like, kind of cheat with him by accident, not even on purpose. I don't mind if I fail because I can just come back and do it again the next day. But yeah. I've done this like about three times now, so I should remember the first one, the first riddle. The second one, I don't, I never got. Well, 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 back once again. It's the incredible, the magnificent mentalist. I knew you'd be back. I crafted new riddles just in case you were ready for a new challenge. It's not like I'm ducking the books or anything. I'm just looking out for my fellow riddle fiends. Bring it. Riddle Senpai returns. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No flipping the script. It's another categorization puzzle. This one's not the baby school, though. Three, two, one, get loose now. Skateboards in group A. Go cards in group B. Egg timer's all up in group A. Alarm clock is strictly group B. So who does protractor tr roll with group A or B? So my, so I thought about this one a lot initially, because I thought that maybe it was trying to trick me as in protractor, like, you know, a protractor that farmers use. But it's not. So I was like, oh, it has gears. It's probably a trick. But I believe it's group A. I think it goes in group A. So what's the reason all these seemingly unrelated things are also tight with each other, huh? Because they're all... No, it was a common number. It was a common number, right? I think so. Because I tried human motion, and it wasn't that. I tried gears, and it wasn't that. I think it was common number, because they all have numbers on them. Yeah, because skate... No, wait. Was it? No, was, was it human motion? Maybe it was gears. I don't think so, because skateboards don't have gears. See, okay, see, this is what I mean by you can tell it's been a week, right? I don't remember this. <laughs> Even though I did get it right previously. So, see, I'm not going to remember everything, right? It's not going to be all that easy. I think it's a common number, because skateboard, egg timer, and protractor have numbers. But I thought, but, but see, I remember, I remember this, though, because I thought I tried this, and it didn't work. And I was really confused because I was like, it made sense. But I think I did. I do human motion. And that also no. didn't work. What? That was like, that was one of the first ones you did. And I'm pretty sure it's not human motion. It's either common number or gears, but I don't remember which one. Well, yeah. Well, I did human motion on group B, though. Didn't oh, I? Yeah, because I did the back accident because I was dumb. And I went with all gears. <laughs> I, I, I meant to pick gears, but I picked human motion. And that was not it. But then I think I did group B and gears. And that also wasn't it. And then I think I took group A and picked two in motion. That wasn't, I think it's common number. Yeah. I don't know. If I get it wrong, it doesn't really matter. I'll just come back the next day. Or if this fails, I'll come back again and I'll get it. Seemingly yeah, first right. Oh no, we do have some lovely parting gifts. Ha ha ha, I'm just playing with you. Yeah, try again. Okay, so it wasn't common number. It's not, it can't be gears though. 
Try again though. If I if, uh, if I don't kill you, it can only make you stronger, right? I'll wait for your revenge. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. See, I don't I don't remember enough. I got I got the group A one, or I got that one right before. The second one still uh, I lo I I haven't gotten. I still I don't even remember what that one is. I don't know either. Oh, I think I remember now actually. Oh. I won't say what, but I I, I think I remember. I'm sure you'll remember too. You said prex building? Yeah, first floor. Yeah. Yeah, right on over here. The Midnight Channel actually revealed who the culprit was, huh? I don't like that. It would have been better if it showed who your true soulmate was. If these are all just silly fantasies, I'd prefer the one with the little romance. He gave him the silver lump. Thanks a lot. I'll finally be able to finish now that I have this. I don't know if this is enough to thank you, but... Here, I built these radios. Uplifting radio times two. Now we did look this up. Well, by looking up, I mean we check the inventory. Doesn't this just give your whole party attack up? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. They tend to break easily, but I thought it'd be nice if you could have a listen to them. That said, the quality of the silver is amazing. If something else comes up, can I count on your assistance again? Yes. Of course. I'll check the bathroom just because sometimes I get lucky, sometimes I don't, depending on the timeline. Yeah. Not lucky in this instance. And I think that's all I did at school before, right? No, yeah, no, I talked just... to I talked to Naoto. Oh. oh right, you did. Yeah. Cause I did find out something with Naoto. Oh, Senpai. Do you want something from me? Let's go out. No, I'd rather not. You're bluntly turned down. If you didn't have the courage to make another or you didn't have the courage to make another attempt to ask. Which, that got me thinking, the first time I went through this. Because I know Naoto is in the opening. And now Marie is too, and I don't think she becomes a party member. But it's making me think Naoto is more optional than what I initially thought. Either that, you can start on his social link early. I'm not really too sure. I don't know what that deal is. I'll need to get my courage up, but that shouldn't be too bad. No. Because I think I'm almost maxed. Am I? Mm, I want to say you're rank four, yeah. I think that's almost maxed. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I will say if you can get your courage up in the next little while, there is kind of a special event where you need max courage for. Really? Yeah, I don't remember exactly when it happens, but it's relatively soon, I believe. Okay, that's new. That's something you didn't tell me before. No, I did not. Today was the day I went to get Pyro Jack, right? Yeah. That guy wants something. <laughs> I don't remember what. Throwing commentary. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Just the way you said that, you're like, that guy wants something. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, look, I'm look, look at, I've been through this timeline a good few times. I'm, I'm I now don't know what's real and what's not anymore. You're, you're turning into, um, Kyoma. <laughs> Steins Gate. Ah, a little bit. Except, uh, I'm not suffering through great- well, I guess I am. I'm losing my footage, like, every single time. I need to find the timeline where that doesn't happen. Yeah, finally, there's going to be a group to date with the sales department from headquarters. Wait, did I- wait, did I complete this quest? See, that's what I mean by timelines. Did I complete the butler quest? Uh, you might have. I don't remember. My feminine wilds are getting rusty. I'll never beat the competition like this. Gotta go shopping, gotta buy clothes. Did I? Fashionable dishes. Oh, yeah, he wants dishes. That's right. Or someone wants dishes. Yeah. Oh, I didn't give her the... Oh, wait. No, I don't have that yet. I gave her a brooch. Which is better at speaking... Yeah, because she's on the roof. But I can only do that yeah. when it's not raining. Yeah. I guess I did do it. Yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we did do that one in this timeline. Perfect. You have a new thing, though. Yes. When I see a group of three in a movie, it makes me think that not all of them will survive. The hungry one always goes out to find food and then gets infected. Um, I know it's a sudden, but do you like strange things? Yeah. Really? Then I have something to ask you. 
The other day I saw a movie about oop arts. I still don't know what the hell that is. I didn't know what they were. I was saying. So I did some research, but I still didn't get it. If you know anyone who knows a lot about them, could you ask about it for me? Sure. Thank you. I can't wait to hear the answer. What was that in the movie? Oop arts, huh? Zombies don't count as that, do they? I wish I knew someone who knew a lot about history. So Sofway is who we talked to yeah. about this. Because I do know an Egyptian lady from my school that does know a lot about the history. Yeah. All right. First try, baby. First try, baby. And then please don't fail, baby. Yay. <laughs> see, you get the, see, I'm on edge. I'm on edge. I'm... Oh, oh, oh. You're trying for a different present. Did you get this one? This is the run, Megan. This that is was it. faster than you did even the first time. Holy shit. That was really fast. Wow. F actual first try. Wow. Baby. Baby. Okay. This has to be it. This has to be it. This has to be the timeline where it all works out. I got the pyro jack doll. This has to be the timeline where it works out. Ah, uh, so one next text. It's about a woman who discovers she has the power to kill anyone just by sending a particular text message. Which, we've now said three times, probably a Death Note <laughs> reference. I'm like 90% sure it's a Death Note reference, just because of the text that comes after the movie as well. Hello? Hello? How are you? Hmm? A movie? That means it would be at Okina, right? Yeah! She's so excited. Yeah, she I is. can make it. What great timing. I was just thinking of something to do. Well, I'll see you there. All right, see you there. Thanks for waiting. I apologize for being late. Mm -hmm. Huh? Is it just us? Uh, oh, I see. Well, let's go. Shall we go inside? You and Yukio taking a movie together. You felt a constantly smoldering dread from watching the heroine gradually go insane from the curse. Which I believe is the text you're referring to. Yeah. You enjoyed watching the movie with Yukiko. Something inside of Yukiko changed in response to the movie. Nice, right, so we got a level up, some increases. Various bonuses were granted by watching the movie. That was good. That was scary, but thrilling. I love how they never explained why the power to curse people to death ended up in people's cell phones. The slight irritation level is just right. It keeps you intrigued. Yukiko seems to have really liked the movie. We should go again sometime. That was a lot of fun. If, if you want, I'd like to go out again sometime. You decide to go home. And that was my day. Yeah. You're back. So you're home. I don't remember. Oh, you can work as the janitor at the hospital today? I don't think I was going to. Yeah, I don't remember what you did today. Yeah, now I actually don't remember. I don't remember if I spent time with Dojima because I know there was one time when you were like, oh, work on your model, like your model, um, scooter. Yeah, but I'm, I think. I'm thinking that might have been uh, a bit later in the week because I think we argued that, oh, Dojima's not here all the time. We should work on making him up, right? That is true. Yeah, I'll drop a save here. Even though it may or may not matter. OBS. Please, OBS, let it matter. Okay, Please, so OBS. we'll do... So we'll do the Dojima, I suppose. Because I think you're right. I think we argued Dojima's not always here. Yeah. Nope. Do I have his persona? I do, right? Uh, nah, I have Absurus. Yeah, I should be, I should be good. Yeah, because I have... Because um... he's hero fund, so... Which one of these is the hero fund? I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh, I don't have a hero fence. No. What did I do then? Did I do Dojima? Because I don't remember getting a different one, unless I got rid of, like... Do I have multiples of anything? I don't believe so right now. See, because I don't remember doing any Persona shenanigans. Well, maybe we didn't. Maybe we just went to the janitor and did uh, that social link. I don't know. I don't recall. <laughs> I, don't 
I mean, <sighs> let's see, because I don't have, I'm gonna come closer yet. Cancel. Yeah, I don't remember what I did at all. What did other people hey. do? So I'm Tojima. What? Well, what do you want to do now? Don't worry about what you did before. <laughs> well, yeah, like, like, don't worry. I'm not going to try to do this exactly. It looks like it's been a week. I don't really expect to do, do all of it again, right? That would just be, like, impossible to remember <laughs> an hour of, like, every single thing I did. Um, well, let's spend time with Dojima, because I do think spending time with Dojima makes sense. It's just a matter of what do I get rid of? Because who am I not? What am I not? So what am I not? Who am I not going to hang out with for a little bit? So we're going to try to consolidate the social links like you said that one time, right? Yeah. So who do I for sure want to work on? So I should probably finish off my party, right? So maybe get Yosuke done, Yukiko, Dojima. You should really try and finish Chie if you Chie. can. Yeah, because Nanako I'm going to work on, but I don't need to work on her at least until I get my expression maxed. Yeah, so maybe you can get rid of your death persona for now, unless you want to keep Mott, or you could uh, get rid of your temperance for the moment. Yeah. Um... Well, see, I want to I want to keep my death one because I, I want to hang out with her when I can, right? Okay. So who do I have on me that I wouldn't really care about? Which one is uh, that I need? Well, I want to keep strength, priestess, sun. I want to keep my high cost ones as well. Oh, yeah, I don't really have any that I necessarily would want to get rid of. Well, I personally think if you're going to get rid of one, App Service is the best one to get rid of, because I don't think you're going to be going to the take care for a little bit anyway. Are you sure? Well, if you're going to be working on your party members, I don't see you going down there right away. You can always work on that a bit later. Yeah, but it helps get my expression up, though, which is what I need, because I need to get Nanako's up. It gets understanding up. up. No. Oh, it does. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I could get rid of Absurus. Only if you want. I think it makes the most sense based on what you want to do right now, right? Well, let's just see. Because, oh, yeah, I definitely didn't do this. So I definitely didn't get any new personas. Something okay. is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. So I guess I didn't do Dojima. There's another piece of paper on the floor. Something is written on it in funky handwriting. Hey you. How long you gonna wear that ugly mask? You know you ain't got the guts for this task. Cover yourself with paint. You're acting like you ain't afraid of what you got in store for your fate. You think you got me? Well that's too bad. Cause I ain't stupid enough to get had. This is interesting. So drop the pathetic act. I wanna dance and that's a fact. Now quit your gawking and start to react. Yeah, yeah. Now dance. Okay. <laughs> okay, I ended a bit, a bit differently than what I would have expected. This must be another of Marie's poems. Arg. What is this? Hey, you. What are you doing reading that? I told you not to read those. You jerk. Th this doesn't mean anything. I I I'm not dancing for anyone. Well, well, why don't you just dance your way off a cliff or something? You think you see Margaret's smile, but only for a fleeting instant. Oh my god. Anyway, I hate you, you stupid clown. Don't read my stuff. Mary furious, furiously returns to her seat. So I didn't do any Persona of Fusion. Yeah, I really don't remember what I did tonight then. I guess I yeah. didn't spend it with Dojima. I feel yeah, like I, I guess should, not. Though. I think you probably would have either read or you would have went to the janitor job. Potentially. I probably had some logic behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think because I read it like, oh, you're not going to level up with Dojima soon. So I was like, okay, well, maybe I'm spending too much time with him. So I'll give it like 
a couple of things. Like, I'll do something else for a couple days. I think was my logic. Yeah. Um, so let me think then. So... You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna do the model. I know at least at some in some timeline, I did the model. So I'm just gonna go do the model. Oh, that's true. Maybe that's what we did. But I literally said that. You're like, you're pretty sure that was in a different on a different day. I could have sworn it was, but maybe not. Yeah, I don't think I did anything else. Because one thing you got to remember, too, is some of that hour was also spent, like, resetting for Pyrojack. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how many days we got through before. I don't know how many either. Oops. Uh, play something. Put some here. Persona dolls. Pyrojack. See, it looks Beautiful. cool as hell, right? I love them. He's got the little face on his face. I love it. He does have the little face on his face. And we did find out that Power Jack has a smiley face. Jack Frost. Jack Frost, whatever. He's a, he's a Jack. He's a Frost, whatever. <laughs> he's something. I've been through this timeline too many times, Megan. Let me out. Yes, I'm going to go ahead now. I'll work on the model. Yeah, I'll work on the model. I'll spend time with Dojima later. I'm, I almost have Dojima maxed. You decided to build a model. You silently and diligently assembled the complex pieces according to the instructions. Your diligence has increased. You almost got off a piece that you weren't supposed to. I also need to read some more of my books. This model is not yet complete. You can keep working on it later. I will. I will for sure. Classes have ended for today. Have the incidents finally been resolved? Yeah, you know, funnily enough, I think I've only been through like two separate days besides all of that. Because I remember, I think I talked to Funky Student twice. And I think I talked to the girl on the roof twice, like the shy one. Uh, is that a challenge? Okay, so same thing. Okay, group A, human mode. Okay, so did a quick test uh, with something. Well, I, I stopped the recording to check and see if it was working still. And good thing I did because it actually was not. Uh, it stopped right after I chose the correct answer for the last one. Yeah. Right? Uh, so you guys would have missed the conversation leading up to this next one to part two. Right? Uh, so I apologize. Basically, what it is, is uh, Gorilla and Elephant are in group A. Coffee Maker and Egg Beater are in group B. So whose phone call does Avalanche answer while letting the other group know go to voicemail? Say that. So who does Avalanche belong with? Right? Yeah. So that, that's literally all that was missed. Every, everything else should be fine. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Um, and yeah, the correct answer was human motion. I think that's still in in the safe part. Uh, so I'm testing out a different encoder for this one now. I'm using the different encoding for this one. And I'll check after like half an hour and just see if it's still going. Because I came to a realization that, well, maybe what's going on is because I did update my nvidia graphics card right i updated it do like nvidia thing i have geforce whatever i it had an update right so i did it and i think after that is when this started happening so i'm not too sure what it is so before i was using the nvidia encoder now i'm using a separate one um so you know we'll see how this goes whatever right yeah, hopefully better. Hopefully better, because it's only happened with Persona. It, it, it hasn't been like this for any of the streams that I've done. It's only happened for Persona. So there's something about Persona that is hurting it, and I don't know what, right? Yeah. But we'll try a different encoder. If it doesn't work after like half an hour, I'll figure something else out. But we'll see. For the moment, though, at least the footage is safe for now, right? 
Yeah, we don't have to get Pyro Jack again. <laughs> yes, which means I'll probably save after this. And then hopefully everything should be fine in theory, right? At least then that way, if this fails, I can just go back to that save and say, hey, you didn't, you literally missed nothing apart from Funky Student, right? Yeah. And it was this, and I'll just like, look, if I get it right, I'll look it up and see what the correct answer was so I can tell everybody. If I've got it wrong, then it won't really matter. Yeah. So I do remember this Avalanche one because I did get it in a previous timeline. And I did group A and I think syllables because Gorilla, Elephant, Avalanche, right? Yeah, I think that was the logic we did. I remember that. But that didn't work. That didn't, that, that wasn't it. So I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna go group B this time. You know what's up, so tell me what the dealio is. Lay out the likeness for me. I don't know what a Gurund is, I don't remember this. We'll say they're indefinite articles, because I don't know what that means either. But it's not number of syllables, because coffee maker, egg beat, wait, coffee maker, egg beater, avalanche. Yeah, no, because because I was thinking maybe the logic is also like, oh, it's two, three, and one, or four, three, and two syllables. Like coffee maker, right? Egg beater, yeah. egg beater. Beat is a separate syllable, right? Like uh, egg beater. So. Yeah, I think so. Or does beater count as like, I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I'll say in different articles. I'll see if I can guess it. Oh, wow, I did. Oh, hey. okay, sure, thanks. Boom, though. You got them both. That's two riddles in a row, so you're also on fire. Dag, yo, that's impressive. Even though I should probably just expect a wonder kind kin like you to have no problem. So you saw that Gorilla has three syllables, but it was in group A. So it had to be that group B. I'll use N. Mm. For most definitely knowing your indefinite article usage, here's some fat loot just for you. Okay, sure. Receive a snuff soul. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, thanks, funky student. I'm gonna go save real quick. Like, so that <laughs> way, that way, well, because I want to use this timeline. I actually want to use this timeline. I mean, it is a good timeline. <laughs> so I don't necessarily care that I got funky student right. It's it's more so just, it, it's, two, where's two, my, two, two, yeah. Okay, wait, hold on. Now the game's running weird. Oh. That might be because of the encoder I'm now using. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this timeline regardless. Yeah, because now I'm running really slow. So, yeah. okay, so see, funnily enough, uh, part of this is because I'm, I'm probably using the encoder that's using more of my CPU now. Oh. So it's probably actually making the game run a little bit weird. Okay, so I, I saved the timeline. I saved this timeline. At the very least, this timeline is saved. I don't care anymore. So this encoder isn't going to work either. But, but we're sorting it all out. This timeline is saved. So I'm going to figure something out. I don't know when the next bit is going to be recorded because I, I need to figure this out. But it's all going to be the same session now, right? <laughs> I got Funky Student. I got Pyro Jack. I just need to figure out what's going on with this, fix it, and then I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I could I guess I could also revert my my um I could roll back my driver probably. My NVIDIA driver. You could. Mm, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anyway. I'm gonna leave it here for the moment. You'll see me soon. It might be long. It will be longer for me. Cause I don't know when. I don't know when I'm actually gonna come back. It might be longer for me. We'll see. Yeah. All right. So anyway, be right back. Okay. How how, how does it look? It's not like lagging anymore, right? No. Yeah, no, it looks, no I should it is not stuttering. Out. Yeah, I should be sorted out. Okay. All right. So hopefully, hopefully. I get to keep my footage this time and I don't <laughs> lose it because man, 
I get scared every time we play this game now. Unt until it's good for like a few sessions, then it's like, you know, then it's like, okay, I'm safe, right? Yeah, it's just kind of weird because I don't know. I've never haven't heard anything about this being a bad port or anything, but we just seem to be having a lot of issues. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't mesh very well when you're trying to do recording at the same time. Well, that's the thing. Cause it's not like the game issue. It's it's an OBS issue. OBS is just like I don't know what the hell it does. To be honest, I, I looked at I looked at the logs. I looked at logs. It doesn't like it tells me kind of what happens. I've looked it up. People are like, well, here's a fix for what that means. Doesn't help me at all, but I did play through the game's opening a bit. It ran fine. I figure if it runs through the game's opening and doesn't die, then, you know, it's probably fine. As always, though, if I see probably. anything sus, I'll probably be like making them scared. I'm going to check it. <laughs> yeah. So I believe I need to talk to you. Huh? What? Don't just walk up to me and talk to me all of a sudden. Don't you know that's rude? Oh. Um, so sorry for blowing up like that. It's fine. I'm not in a hurry to go anywhere or anything. So the female student is mumbling and obviously flustered. Perhaps she's the one who wrote the Emma request the Fox showed you. She wants to improve her conversational abilities. What do you want? So stop staring at my face. Her words are harsh. But you dealt with the cold response well due to your understanding. I think it's maxed if I believe. I think so. But what? Or is it my knowledge? It might be my knowledge. My understanding might be close. Oh, yeah. No, your understanding would be maxed. I think you were probably rank four, though. Probably. But what? Normal people would have left by now, yelling something at me. You're weird. Yeah, thanks. Megan tells me <laughs> that a lot. Way to project. <laughs> by the way, j just, just so we're all like clear, right? Uh, and because I don't want Megan to you know, feel like she needs to hide it or whatever. She is currently hatching eggs in Pokemon. So, yeah. like, so like she, you know, she's here, obviously. She just might occasionally get distracted by hatching eggs, which is fine. I mean, I'll probably only get distracted if I actually find the shiny Froakie. <laughs> now, if you get a shiny, you just, you know, let everybody know, right? Yeah. Well, what are you standing there for? Say something to me. You got that? Okay. The awkward girl ran away. I uh, just like, just like most women that interact with me. I thought you were going to say that's me because I don't <laughs> want to talk to people. Well, I mean, you wouldn't run away from me. I would hope not at this point. Well, no, I just don't like talking to people. <laughs> Maybe you should talk to her again next time you see her. So basically come up on Monday. I, I, I keep yeah, forgetting how. Won't be <laughs> I was gonna say, I keep forgetting how Japanese schools work. They're weird. They, it... they go to school too much. Yeah, so make it's not raining on Monday because she probably won't be there. Ah, oh, damn, you're right. You haven't ridden your scooter that much, despite getting your license. Ooh. You're right, game. Perhaps you go for a long ride on your scooter. Yes, that's right. Because I want to. No, because I'm talking to the old lady now. Shoot, I need to do more with her. Hisano or whatever, <laughs> like the, the, the Grim, yeah. Grim Reaper or whatever. The Widow. Yeah. Well, I mean, she did literally straight up tell me she is death, so I assume she's actually a Grim Reaper. I mean, you never know. I did do the funky student, right? Yeah, because he'd be here, right? What are you? He'd be up upstairs on the third floor. Yeah, after all the uh, failed recordings that have happened, I'm... I, I don't really know what's my reality anymore and what's a reality from like <laughs> before. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It gets a little confusing when you keep switching between saves like that. A little bit. But I mean, we should be good. We should be good. I'm still watching. I'm keeping a damn close eye on you, OBS. So... Okay, so here's one thing I don't recall. I, I don't remember. So I don't remember what I did in, in the last reality, which is probably a good thing, mind you. Yeah. Um, oh, I need to go to S-Link. You know, let's actually bask in my great knowledge. Yeah, I'm a sage, man. Oh, I understand it's only three. I thought you had it up to four. I'm pretty good at almost everything, though. I can't just say fuck it to, like, learning most other things soon. 
Well, yeah, like, you get the stats up, you can do more stuff, but... Um, okay, so... I believe we talked about just finishing one of them, right? I don't know... Yeah, I think I... we were trying to finish a couple. Yeah, like, once again, I don't remember which reality that was in, but I know Megan and I had the idea of, well, let's just focus on finishing a couple of them so I can focus on the others. Yeah. And I believe... We're going to probably focus on Chie, I think. Yeah, I believe so, because she's pretty high up there. Yeah, like, I think we bounce between Chie, um, well, Margaret, I need to spend money on. Uh, probably Chie, Yosuke, and maybe Yukiko. And, like, Dojima. Yeah, like, I would definitely start focusing on Dojima and Nanako, because they do have a little bit less of a time limit than the other ones. You still have until... I think it's around the end of November, but you have a little bit less time to do those two. Okay, so fo okay, so we'll ba okay, so these are gonna be the ones that I'll bounce between until they're finished. Chie, Yosuke, Dojima, Nanako. Until yeah. I get some of them done, I do. I want to get Rise up though, because she's the waifu, right? Yeah, and I mean Rise has really good bonuses for her social link too. Yeah, so like I want to get her up as well. So I'm gonna, but I'll try to get these ones finished. Yeah, I think that's fair. Okay, so let's, let's remember Yosuke, Chie, Dojima, Nanako. And I guess... Um... Can... Um, well, and you'll need to work on Marie as well. I'll need to work on Marie. Like, if you don't have an opportunity to hang out with the other ones, anyway. Yeah. I mean, Adachi, when he comes up. Yeah, you'll be fine with Furudashi for a while. So, for today... Hmm. Hmm. Did Which I... personas do you have on you, by the way? Uh, the only one that matters, Black Frost. I guess that's a good point. I did this one, and then I have an Oni. Kikuri, Hime, Yata, Garasu, Thoth, Slime, Ukabak, Queen Mob, Narcissus, Mott, and Asperus. None, are any of these good for shit? Are any of these good for the ones I need? I mean, if you click on them, you can see the Arcana. Yeah. So, so we have Magician, Strength. strength She's Chariot, right? Yeah, she is Chariot. Okay, so, so I do have a Chariot. I want to keep Devil oh. for when I do... Work. Yeah, when you work at the hospital. Yeah. Lovers is Rise. Which? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Rise, yeah. Aeon is Marie. Aeon is Marie. And Death is Asano. And Temperance, Temperance is... is Dojima? No, he's Harry Finn. He's uh, that's Finn. Daycare. That's daycare. Yeah, because I'm going to do Daycare a little bit, too. I want to work on Daycare a little bit. Yeah. So out of okay. these ones, maybe, I don't know, should I drop Priestess for a little bit? Because, like, we know the four I want to work on. Yeah. The most. So should I like drop priestess? Emperor is just very costly, so I kind of want to keep Emperor and Aeon, I think. Yeah, I think that's fair. Like, I don't think you need to drop priestess yet until you actually need the persona slot. Because I think you... Well, I mean, you do need a justice for Nanako and a hero fent for Nojima. Yeah, so I'm going to need oh. those two. Which one's Sun? I don't know if you want to try and use okay, them. Which one's Sun is. That is, Sun's uh... Drama, drama yeah. So I'm thinking maybe just drop Priestess and Sun for the moment. Okay, you can maybe try and fuse them and see if you get anything new. Yeah, I think I might do that. I will indeed leave school. Right, what the fuck? Oh, what hi, Jetty. What are you doing out here? Oh, Sensei. The people here are so nice. Every time I come, they give me snacks. Like just now, they said, I'll give you this if you just go away. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go, though? Do you want to go somewhere with me? When you go with friends, time will pass, but your friend may awaken to new powers or again forgotten ones. Try going out with them when you have time. Teddy seems bored. Invite Teddy to go out somewhere. I don't remember ever doing this. Hmm. Ugh, I don't know. I mean, that does seem pretty fun, going to the beach. Yeah, but... 
I mean, it does, but at the same time, shouldn't I spend it with someone else who has a social link with me? Or does I Teddy mean, get one? He's I mean, fool, Teddy though. already has one, but it's an automatic no, one. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I'm very confused. I mean, you could save and see what happens, I guess. I mean, I guess I technically do have a save. I haven't yeah, really done anything, so... Because, I mean, if you're learning new skills and stuff, then... I don't know, you might get something good. I don't really know. Because you wouldn't have any skills that you've forgotten on him, because you just got him as a companion a little while ago. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see what this is. I might reload the save. I don't know. I guess we'll wait and see. The beach? Sensei, you're determined to enjoy your youth. Okay, I just loaded up on snacks, so I'll go anywhere with you. I memorized the smell of the ocean the last time we went, so follow my nose. You decided to go with Teddy. Before he takes you to the wrong place. <laughs> oh, he's roller skating! He is roller skating. Where did he get the roller skates from? Shichuri Beach. You came here with Teddy. The ocean's so big! The beach, the beach, it's so big, it's massive. Let's float together, senpai. It's fun to just float around aimless aimlessly. You had fun at the beach with Teddy. <laughs> you feel like the time is right for an in-depth conversation with Teddy. What will you talk about? Ah, uh, so uh, this is where you pick. So I guess you probably want to talk about the future, right? I mean, I guess. Yeah, talk about the future. Huh? Future? Future. He's Squidward now. Is that like a special picture? Like a big future of lemonade? No? Hmm. The future. That sounds difficult. You decide to speak with Teddy about the future. Something changed inside of Teddy. Dakunda. Oh, it's not bad. Cannot remember any more skills. Please choose them to forget. Yeah. So, Dakunda, nullify stat penalties on party. I mean, that does seem pretty good. Like, well, it's probably the... better than him having, I want to say, energy shower or poison skewer. I mean, do you, well, I don't, do you feel like it's, do you feel like it's, this is worth keeping? I mean, it does get rid of, like, debuffs and stuff the bosses and will use on you. I mean, that is true. Like, I don't know if you think this is worthwhile to keep because I know we're trying to work on social links, but. Well, that's kind of the thing. I don't know if it, I don't know if it's better for me than a social link. I mean, it's fun to see the scene. But if it's just to get skills from Teddy, I, I don't know. Forget future energy shower. Yeah, sure. I don't know. We'll, we'll see you at the end of this. You spent time with Teddy until it got dark and then went home. I don't know, man. That, I mean, that's interesting. Welcome back. Huh. I don't think at the moment I really consider that worth it. I mean, that's fair. I assume you're looking it up. Well, I was looking it up because I was curious if it was randomized or not, but I found this Reddit post from someone doing a similar thing with Teddy in January, and he's like in his costume, but they don't post exactly what he got from it. Huh. I don't know, that's really interesting, especially if it's something else you haven't actually experienced. At least I don't recall, but yeah. It says if you talk to him along with your maxed out confidence in January, you get a particular bonus that I'm not going to say. <laughs> so, January, you say? That might be something to try and remember when you get to that point in the game. Okay, so we'll remember to go to January. How am I doing? How am I doing on like the the gotcha stuff? Do I when does what what's the special days for that again? Uh. That was like the claw machine, whatever, in front of yeah. the movie theater. Yeah. Crazy I'm kind of curious. I guess it is. Yeah, because I, I just don't um, quite remember. Man, God, all creation is a oyster. Wait, there are new books. There are new books. 
Oh. How did I not get these? They must have just come out. They must have. Shit, I really... Oh. Boost your effects of eating Chinese food more? Ooh. So that must boost the effects you get for eating at Aya. Probably. Well, I need these. I can read books uh... twice as fast now, so it kind of works out. 